fire. Or as one of our fellow event patrons said, nice morning wood. Thought that was quite genius. And I actually woke up to the sounds of the porta johns being cleaned. And uh, here they are. And I actually got to be number one. I got to take a number, be number one and taking a number two in one of those. Never done that before. Bucket list check. All right, day three. Rhonda is looking absolutely fabulous. Look at that. Are we doing this on the channel? Badass. What's that? Are we doing this on the channel? Ah, we can. It's Wasteland. Oh! Yeah. We got it. Okay. So we're going to head out to, uh, yeah, we're good. We like to be kid friendly. Kid, we, we are kid friendly, but we are Wasteland. Exactly. <laughs> so we're gonna head out to uh, the car show and go check it out. It's a little windy today, but it feels nice. And camp is still holding up. We still we still have a structure. Everything is still there, and uh, everything's working out great. So let's go. them you guys are awesome you guys cruise through the campgrounds through everywhere through the whole event and uh you guys are badass we want to give you guys major props so thank you for everything you do So I've been taking some photos, but let's do some video too. Because we're uh, we're gonna be doing some rounds, checking out some stuff because there's all kind of stuff going on. There's photographers everywhere. 
people all set up in their rigs, doing fun stuff. Asses and boobies everywhere, sorry if you see any. Um, but it's freaking rad. Super cool. Not like your typical car show, that's for dang sure. It's amazing. point or another we've seen every single one of these drive through our queue, which is amazing so our Corvette friends oh, that felt so good someone just had a little mister Jack, Pallet Jack Crane. For those of you interested, just wanted to get a nice little close up of that one. I just went to chat with Rhonda really quick and I was just telling her that within this show, you could literally spend an hour just looking at one car to see what they got going on. And uh, it's only a two hour car show. So that means I get to look at two cars. <laughs> but now I'm gonna cruise back through, see what else I can find. And then, uh, yeah, it's friggin' insane though. Oh, just look at, look at this, look at this. Give some love to the Honda crew. The three wheel Honda crew. So, yeah, I mean, it's still going down. And there's still so much going on. In <laughs> oh. Feeling of what in the heck do I look at? I look at that. Do I look at that. Just. <laughs> 
Which which one? <laughs> I don't know. We'll just take them all. <laughs> so Ron had a chance to buy something similar to this, and um, it slipped out from under our fingers. It wasn't a Cushman, but this thing is freaking cool as hell. And uh, if we ever get the chance to get one again, we will for sure. <laughs> Done like the uh, the, the uh, where the front seat is on top of the front axle, the cab forward style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I could get one that was street that would be awesome. Yeah. yeah, that's the one that we were looking for. It was supposed to be for for she, for her. Yeah, I, I went with the uh, the, uh, it has a title and I can drive it around town. Nice. <laughs> It's always a blessing when it has a title and you can drive it around town. <laughs> yeah, that's it's true cool. It's a motorcycle. Yeah. I usually use it to go get uh, groceries and other things. Just short little trips. So that's amazing. <laughs> I need one to keep it work so I can just go have lunch breaks that are awesome. Nice. Are you ashamed of my mouth? I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> There's, there's, it's, there's a chance that you probably never will either, so. Well, I'm not one of you. That's true. That's a good point. It is. That's very good. <laughs> I always appreciate this beast. Maximus Redneckus. <laughs> this is one of the rigs that I definitely, I definitely appreciate the most. It does many things. And this thing does a lot out here. So I appreciate this vehicle so, so much. What is it? I just want a picture of it. It's not supposed to be sexual. Oh, wow. <laughs> Another one that's been cruising by our camp that we absolutely love. sounds like we're about to announce the winners so we are going to get to our bikes and i think we're going to the main stage or we're going to the front area or something yeah and then uh we're going to find out who won this biscuit
now for the survivalist award, the survivability vehicle. It's Ducky. Where's Ducky with the uh, Mustang? to enjoy the chaos of everyone leaving. It's going to be freaking amazing. <laughs> oh yeah. Mayhem. Mayhem all around. We belong here. This is home. Welcome home. actually just saying last night how much I love this freaking truck and we were just on the way to use the restroom and there it is. Thing is so sweet. Beautiful. I love trucks on the ground like that. You never know what you're going to see at Wasteland. It's for damn sure. Spend some amazing time with Seth finally and uh, a bunch of the um, Black Thumb guys who are just freaking awesome. So it was a pleasure to be able to meet everybody and just kind of hang out and uh, yeah, have a little bit of fun, a little chit chat. And uh, yeah, now we're
we're gonna go back to camp. We'll get some food, rest for a little bit, figure out what we're gonna do for the rest of the night for shenanigans. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> so apparently we just met the twins. The twins, not twins, but the the, the twins. twins. The twins. They are adorable. They are adorable. <laughs> but we're uh, we're gonna go look for some. What is it? Dinkies. Dinkies chili. It's a staple. You have to do it. So, and uh, we've both seen it online. And so we're gonna go get that. And then after that, hopefully we don't die down enough where we can cook some sausages. <laughs> We're hungry. All right. Apparently we came through at the right time because a helicopter found another home. It's got a whole new home. Not necessarily gonna fit up top, but yeah. Is that the regular? Yay. Oh. Yep, had to do it. Be right there. Yay! Oh, the vegetarian comes in green, and the regular comes in red. How proper. Green and red, vegetables are green, and blood, blood. red. <laughs> and we got some patches, but you can't see them, but. Had to support, get the patches. We don't awesome. need no single badges. <laughs> All right, we're back at it. The Friday night shenanigans. We're heading back to the arcade because Rhonda's awesome and she loves this stuff. Plinkity plink. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it goes. I love Plinko. Yeah, it's very satisfying. Plinko is extremely satisfying. We need one of these. Uh -huh. You can sit there for hours. With the nails and... It'd be cool to make one the way Jared does his... Oh, yeah. Do the nails and then do like... Yup. A scenery. That would be sweet. Jared does. It's so rad. There it goes. Nobody touching nothing. You got it. Which one? Which one? Crash. Nice. Mm -hmm. Got a crash button. That's okay. difficult. I think it's about that time we go to the Wasteland Communication Corporation building and checked it out because it is a staple and something you are supposed to do anytime you come here. And they take their time, really set this up. It's freaking amazing. Once again, tons of stuff that you just can sit here for hours looking at and not see everything.
need one of those TVs. <laughs> So we just got a nice badass tour from the guys at the Wasteland Communication Corporation. And they gave us a nice little history and just run down on everything and it was freaking cool as hell. But I didn't want to be rude and film because I honestly wanted to take it all in because it was just phenomenal. Yeah. So thank you to these guys so much for uh, bringing us into their spot. Taking the time to to give a rundown to some first years. It was freaking cool. Love you guys. Drink Nuka Cola. Day four? Uh. <laughs> Good morning, Wasteland. Um, it's Saturday morning. Um, had another awesome night. I came back to camp early. Uh, Rhonda went back out again. Chilled out with the Black Thumbs. Um, did some more exploring with Cecilla, which is awesome. I love that she's getting out, doing her thing. I had to crash. I was done. Um, and uh, we decided we're going to break down camp and we're gonna stay for the whole day saturday and for the night and then we're gonna probably take off like around i don't know around we're over it time um and not even like over it but just kind of like all right we're good um there's no need in packing up tomorrow morning we're only three hours and 15 minutes away so we travel home and go jump in the shower <laughs> and uh in a nice warm bed so um but yeah we're gonna go enjoy the rest of the day and see what uh what the waste has in store for us because it brought some wind and some clouds but uh it's still this is freaking this is how it is so yeah we'll see you guys out there and uh we're freaking we're pumped we love this we're, we're we seriously love this this is awesome we got some news too so all right anyways yep <laughs> Oh yeah. Thank God for Rana for getting stuff like this. Ooh, that was like a second life right there. Like reborn. 
the back. Anyways, almost fully broken down. <sighs> Got pretty much all the non-necessities in the uh, back of the truck. We're just gonna keep finishing, um, break down the rest of the fort, and then uh, go have some fun. This is how we roll. Look at that hair. Yeah, can't wait for a freaking haircut. <laughs> uh, all right, back to it. So before we get too torn down, <laughs> I'll show you the innards. <laughs> Literally wood we had laying around the house. And it's just barely attached to the trailer at the front. But that was our structure. And it's definitely not square. <laughs> but, or level. But whatever. Who cares? It works and it held up. And yeah, it's badass. But I just thought that was cool. Okay, camp is officially broken down. Broken down. Broken down. Put it in pockets, put it in bags, put it in things. Yeah. <laughs> and now we're realizing that we are most definitely coming back next year. And um and, and look, last tra Travis, when's your wedding? <laughs> and uh yeah, as we're kind of doing things, we're definitely figuring out more on what our rhythm and flow is. So um but there's still one more day. So we're gonna keep going. We're gonna head into the city and see what happens. These are kind of nice. They're like very bug eye, but they, yeah, my eyeballs feel good. With the bandana and your crazy hair, it's perfect. Let's go. Did some fine bartering for these, these fine people for some boats, boots, boats, boots that we didn't need pockets. Got more pockets. That's right. Choose pockets. <laughs> yeah, right. Yes. Oh, hey, thank you. That's actually our YouTube channel. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I'll check that out. YouTube. Yeah, okay. yeah. So check it out. Amazing little barter trade. Pockets got more pockets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so I was saying earlier that we wanted to announce something, and as we've been here and been doing stuff, we've just kind of realized more of who we are in the waste and what we want to be and, and go after and whatnot. And so last night, um, Cecilia gave us these, which is uh, Black Thumb uh, Vehicle Club patches, which is freaking amazing. And uh, it's for the build that Rhonda did on her... Yamaha, which is freaking just, yeah, such an honor from those guys, and they're badass. And so, as of this morning, we've officially changed our names because we're gonna go, we're gonna go black them. We're actually gonna try and, you know, get in on this tribe, and because um, they're badass guys, everyone's super freaking cool, and you know, that's just more of our style. So, um, so we officially changed our names <laughs> as of this morning as we we're packing stuff. We retired. We were tired, Chef retired, Bacon. Security retired. Security guard. It's gone. Wrench. Yep. Wrenching. Yeah, that's what we do. We build. Wrench. So, so um, based off of Rhonda's actions and who she is as a person and everything. <laughs> what's yeah. your new name? <laughs> pockets. I'm always <laughs> digging in my pockets. I'm looking for the right place to put everything in. Come home with three school things full in my pockets. Just random pocket stuff. At the end of the day, I laugh at myself when I pull out. So, as I was digging through my pockets, I'm like, pockets. She's pockets. Pockets. It just makes sense. While I'm on vacation. Yeah, you know, makes perfect sense. And uh, I'm going with zip tie. <laughs> I mean, it says, it says itself. It's just a whole... I'm sure there's other zip ties out here, but... Yeah, right. Um, a bunch. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. So, and, uh, yeah, we just, we're stoked. We're going to go enjoy the last day out um, just traveling around and kind of hanging out. Go go chill with Black Thumb a little more. Go to the car uh, cruise and, yeah, just have a blast. So, and um, probably going to take off tonight. So that way, like I said earlier, so that way we can have a good, a good, nice uh, day at home tomorrow before going back to work. So, yeah. Sweet. Okay, we're gonna go. Let's do this.
so. Yeah, and the 80s is running a little weird, so I'm gonna get off this before I eat poo poo. <laughs> right after um, we watched a little RC stuff we were chatting it up with um, one of the event safety guys Alex freaking rat guy and uh, he was telling me that just how awesome everyone and everything has been so far um, and again I just want to thank all those guys all the event safety guys for for rolling through and just kind of checking on everybody they've been amazing amazing to see you rolling around but he was just talking about how badass everyone and everything has been and how much he's loved the event and you know how I was complimenting how freaking clean it is like seriously everyone takes all their trash and takes care of their own stuff and like I've been to a lot of other events and there's been like trash and stuff left out just everywhere and this has been insanely awesome as far as that goes and and he complimented the same thing so anyways I just want to throw that in there it's dusty. We're uh, we're getting ready for the car cruise here in a little bit, and then uh, yeah, see what else we can get into. Ron is cruising on up right now. We just did a nice little photo shoot with her, and uh, yeah, some badass photos. I'll put them right here. A couple teasers. You'll see them on Wasteland or Central too. But yeah, right. Yep. There's another one. Oh, there's one more. And yep. Nah, nah, there we go. <laughs> All right, guys. Time for the car cruise. Soon. Very soon. up right now and uh yeah we got we got the motorcycle crew pretty much at the very back <laughs> but just right where we want to be so that's pretty rad <laughs> the little 86 
It's a 69 um, AT125. <laughs> okay. It's an AT125 Enduro. Yeah, I had a 175. I think it was an early 70. Yeah, those are the but, DTs. But it, yeah. That was found in the desert. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Picked all the extra meat left and stuck it on the hat. Yeah, that's right. And that's then there's of course cool. like parts from an airplane. It's oh yeah. On the front. That's super cool. And we're still just kind of lining up. Everyone's just chilling. Watching the uh, safety event people, they were catching someone as he was peeing behind a bush. It was kind of funny. <laughs> they turned around once they realized his wiener was out. <laughs> they turned right around. <laughs> yeah, they let him finish. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Alright, vehicles made their descent. Head down to Fury Road. Next stop. Again, <laughs> the copter has ended up in uh, 
in a zone that, uh, I don't know, it just, it gets moved a lot. Just, you know, the drill people. But yeah, it's windy and it's cold, but people are still jamming around. But the rain never came. And uh, people are still loving it. It's the last night, so you got to get your partying in now. Yeah. Wheelchair wheelie lessons. Oh, I got you. One handed. There it is. <laughs> Our group is special. We can count to four. Dude, I tried it earlier. It was a little rough. Nice. Nice. Oh, damn. I give it to you. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't say, I'll give it to you. Yeah, you, yeah, you weren't kidding people. about being good at it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hence why we're calling her pockets. Because right now she's emptying all her pockets. Looking for her ID and her, yeah, is it in there though? She's looking for her ID and her money. And, ah, you! Oh, yep, no, Visa. Yep, oh, okay. It's my Harley MasterCard. Yep, and she had to go through all that stuff to get to it. And actually, now that I think about it, because of the fact that we're videoing, I'm going to bed. And we're calling this, for me, the end of my wasteland. Because I want to get sleep before we drive uh, back home tonight at some point. But she's going to stay up and party. I'm not going to video with that. <laughs> no, I'm taking this phone with me. We don't need that debauchery. So, from the uh, black thumb tent, I am saying goodnight. Good night. Thank you, Wasteland. Good night. You're amazing. We love you. Yes. It's been awesome. Best Wasteland ever. See you next year. All right. So <laughs> it's been a few days, about five days, um, and uh, we've been back in the real world. Um, <laughs> And uh, I just wanted to kind of give some final thoughts uh, as a first timer, um, hoping that maybe it'll help, you know, someone who's going next year or, you know, maybe it'll help uh, give some insight to some people who've been doing it for a while and want to just hear what a first timer has to say. I don't know. I haven't really heard or seen anyone do this for Wasteland yet. So, um, but uh, initially um, I can just say, when we, we, we did the night before thing, as you guys know from the first video, uh, and slept in the line and, um, just the being in the environment of the desert alone was amazing. I honestly, I had to get up to go piss behind a bush and I looked up in the sky. It was quiet. It was just dead out. Um, you could see all the stars. It was just beautiful. And, and that alone was just an amazing experience. Um, but the next morning, what really did it for me was when, um, the war boys were in the back of the truck and then also the event safety, um, you know, the moto crew were rolling through, waking everyone up and it just instantly, I was like, hell yes, this is going to be badass. <laughs> and it proved to be so, um, you know, we were trying to set up our camp as soon as possible. We wanted to get to the, uh, opening ceremonies, which, which was great and all, and we had a good time with it, and um, it was cool to just kind of get, like, an initial glimpse of what it was going to be like, um, but honestly, I didn't really get, like, that 
that sense of loss of reality until we all that was done and we were um, riding our motorcycles in through Main Street, through the main gates, and you look down Main Street and you just see this like clouds of dust with people walking through them all geared up and, you know, playing the playing the role and um, in character and whatnot. And then for me, like there were several moments um, where I just lost all sense of reality. Like I literally was like, this is where I live now. <laughs> this is this is home. So now I can see why people say welcome home, by the way. That's amazing. And um, and seriously, it happened to me on many occasions on a, on a spiritual level, too. It wasn't even just like, oh, cool, we're in, we're in the role playing. It was like literally like, holy crap, like the apocalypse has happened. I better figure some stuff out because I got to be able to eat tonight. So all in all, like every aspect of it was amazing from a visual aspect a visual sense and level and and um uh, the only thing that we really kind of struggled with well there's a couple things and i wish Rhonda was here but she's out with um her two oldest uh they went to a concert down in santa barbara and um and she's not really one to chat on camera so i have some insight from her too but um the one thing that was really hard for us was uh, truly like finding where to be, you know, there, there's no, there's no right place at the right time. I mean, you just kind of come across stuff and if it looks cool, you get in on it. <laughs> you know, the first couple of days though, we're like, should we do this? Should we do that? And finally we were like, screw it. Let's just walk around until we find something rad and then, and then join in. And luckily we had a connection, um, through Cecilla with the Black Thumb, uh, tribe and, and so we were able to hang with those guys on a, on a, um, not a regular basis, but you know, just throughout the event. So that was really cool, um, to, to get to know all those guys better, especially cause we would love to be a part of that tribe as we had mentioned earlier. Um, and you know, we'll see what happens with that. Um, but, uh, anyways, um, yeah, so that's, that was kind of like the big thing was like where to go, where to be. Um, and then once we realized there's no set time or place, and you know that made it a hell of a lot easier on that end too. Um, one thing Rhonda had mentioned was uh, as far as like the motorcycles go and the cars and stuff, it would have been cool. And I I get from a safety aspect why this doesn't happen, and I'm not complaining, but it does make sense to me as well. It would be cool because we're all builders. We're all you know a lot of us are builders, and we're doing stuff with um our vehicles uh for the sake of modifying and wanting to like really enjoy them so it would have been cool to have like a zone where we could have opened them up in a safely like manner like maybe have some safety out there and you know let some people do some dirt speed runs so long as they have a helmet on or something like that um because it was hard for her to not be able to take that bike that she built and, and we could do it in other places too but you know, she wanted she wanted to let it loose. She wanted to open the throttle. <laughs> so, um, but all in all, like everything, like we definitely packed way more than we needed. <laughs> you know, pack half as much as you think you need. Um, so even food wise, um, but definitely pack more water than you think you need. Um, we actually ended up going through just enough. We we brought some home, but we were pounding it like crazy. So. Um, and I don't know. I mean, like, I, I have nothing but great things to say. I mean, it was, it was, we went in open-minded. We go to a lot of festivals, a lot of concerts, you know, a lot of events. And honestly, this by far was the one that we walked into where instantly we were just like, just blown away. It, it was, it was, um, a heartfelt welcoming from every single person who, when they found out we were a first timer, they, they in, instantly opened their arms. And, um, you know, I mean, I, I can't wait till next year. That's all I could say. Like, seriously, like, like I'm, I was saddened when it was over. Like the thought of knowing that I had to go back to reality and that I had to go back to work. No offense, boss, <laughs> but all that just sinks in so hard when you're home a shower feels nice but i'd rather have all of that going on in the desert than a shower honestly i would rather figure out how to make it work out there to live in that environment for another week so um 
I don't know. It's it's uh, I, I I could probably do a whole video talking about every little thing and, and whatnot, but I'm just going to kind of leave it at that. You guys opened up another thing for us to love. We love a lot. We have a lot. Um, we're, we're, we're very fortunate in how we get to, uh, live with our, with our shop and our toys and all that. But this was an experience to where, um, we felt like part, truly part of a community and an amazing community at that. And I just want to thank everybody, um, who, you know, um, who, who just chatted with us, who, uh, who gave us a tour of their tribe, um, specifically the guys, honestly, at the uh, Wasteland Communication Corporation. Those guys were freaking amazing. Um, and um, and just everyone else, Black Thumb, everyone at Black Thumb for letting us hang out. Um, uh, it just, I don't know, I could go on and on. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of Rhonda's heart. We can't wait to see you all next year. Um, we hope to experience more. I definitely want to see more. Um, and yeah, and we're looking forward to doing another build. Uh, we're going to do something else, something different uh, for next year. I'm actually going to keep it on the Lolo. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you and I'm not going to film it. I'm just going to, um, I'm going to show up to uh, the event with something different. And, um, and I want to kind of keep it a secret just cause I, I think it's going to be badass. And, um, yeah, I just, that's just how, how I'm going to roll this time with it. So anyways, like I said, from the bottom of our hearts to all of you guys, thank you so much. Um, we look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you for all the support with our first video and all the new subscribers, um, and, and the likes on the comments, it's been so amazing, uh, seeing all the comments of, of all of you pointing yourselves out, you know, the ones that we met there, um, you know who you are, um, and, uh, we look forward to, um, hearing more from you guys. So anyways, uh, like, subscribe, check out our Facebook. We just started an ETM 540 Clubhouse Facebook account. Uh, go to that. There's a big old thing of like 400 photos or something like that on there from the event. And, um, yeah, we look forward to seeing you guys in the uh, next, uh, videos as we continue, uh, working on more stuff and doing more fun things and bringing you guys all along with us. So we love you. And remember if you're going to thrash, thrash responsibly. Thanks guys. We love you. I'm going to go to bed cause I'm old. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, and one last thing. If um my dumb ass and my nineteen eighty six <laughs> Honda XR eighty that was pretty much stock ended up in the background of your photos. I'm sorry. <laughs> I promise I won't bring that back next year. <laughs> so yeah, sorry about that. <laughs>